Fishing, an excellent pastime in Minecraft. Not only is it relaxing, not only can it get you food, but it can get you lots of useful stuff. So where do we start? Easy, we need sticks, string and a crafting table. Here's the crafting table and we make a picture of a fishing rod on the crafting grid. Unlike a bow, it only uses two pieces of string. And there's our fishing rod. Now to fish, you just need a body of water. That could be a one block hole, a small pond, either natural or player made, a river, an ocean, a body of water. You can fish by the water, standing in it, in a boat, from under the water should you so desire, doesn't matter. Hold the fishing rod in your hand, can be off or main, makes no difference. And then you click use. In Java that's right click with the mouse. And now we wait. What we're waiting for is a trail of bubbles to approach the float. With an ordinary fishing rod this will take between 5 and 40 seconds. Here it comes. And you saw the bobber go down, you have about half a second to respond. And what did we catch? A fish. A raw fish. In some versions it's also listed as a raw cod. We'll do that again. Wait for that trail of bubbles and watch for the bobber to go down and the sound of the splash. That's your cue to reel it in. And you reel in exactly the same way you cast off. Click use. Now there's a selection of things that you can catch while fishing. The most frequent is going to be fish. So you have raw fish or raw cod, raw salmon, a clownfish, and a puffer fish, which is essential for potions of water breathing. You are most likely to catch these guys, and then it goes down in likelihood. I think it should actually be that way around. Then you can catch treasure, and treasure is enchanted bows, enchanted books, enchanted fishing rods, name tags, saddles, and lily pads. And these three items, the bow, the book, the fishing rod, can have all sorts of enchantments on it, including ones that aren't possible to get with enchanting tables. And lastly, there is what Minecraft calls junk, although I think a lot of the junk is actually useful. So you've got bowls, ordinary fishing rods in varying degrees of repair, leather, old boots, rotten flesh, sticks, string, water bottles, both full and empty, bones, ink sacks, tripwire hooks, and ordinary bows. Now of all those items, I think these two are the junk. The rest can be useful to varying degrees. This I would put in treasure, tripwire hooks, they're so useful. And bows, even ones that are almost broken, can be used for making dispensers. I have a special box just for ordinary bows that I've fished out of the pond. They are not listed in the Minecraft list of junk that you can catch, but I've caught enough of them that I know they should be. One last thing before I go. Enchanted fishing rods. Now, I have read varying opinions on these, and one thing that comes up frequently is that luck of the sea and lure cancel each other out. They don't. Lure reduces the amount of wait time between catches. Luck of the sea increases your chance of catching treasure. With each level of those two, your wait time reduces, your chance of catching treasure increases. You can have one or either on your fishing rod. You're best off having both. And the fishing rod I've got there, I think that's the best sort of fishing rod. You fish long enough, you'll get enough fishing rods that you can combine them to make that rod. As for Luck of the Sea, even with Luck of the Sea 3, your chance of catching a raw fish or a raw cod comes down to 50%. You're still going to catch a lot of fish. Well, that's fishing. I'm going back to it. Happy Minecrafting!